Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, this is just a quick follow-up off of my last video. At the very end of my last video, I showed you yet another problem that I would have to overcome, a minor one, with a little bit of fabrication. So this video is just showing you how I overcame it. Uh, and in case you're wondering why I look like I was just playing with a bunch of cats, um, I'm allergic to cats, I don't like cats, definitely was not playing with cats, you'll find out at the end of this video. So. Let's get right into it. Pick it up where I left off. Dipstick is temporarily removed. Original turbo drain is taped off so nothing falls down in there. And here is my Arizona Performance piece that fits here perfectly. This is for the factory turbo location if you just wanted to upgrade the drain tube on your factory turbo. And as I showed in my previous video, link up above, this will not fit with the dipstick. This just goes out way too far. And also this is overkill. This is crazy size for a drain. This is a 10 a.m. and normally mine are like 6 a.m. So this fitting, Danny had cut off of something else and saved. <laughs> he and I kind of do the same thing. It's like, save everything. We're like hoarders, but hoarders of the purpose because check this out. This is the perfect angle for how I want my oil return line to come from this direction. So I'm gonna put that there. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I have this fitting that, I mean, it's kind of a sacrificial cap. I mean, it's nothing fancy. This is not gonna end up on the car, but I'm gonna use it, you know, to be serviceable if I ever like pull the engine, heaven forbid, or anything else, I'm gonna be able to cap everything off. So kind of nice. Uh, this is actually for my turbo drain, not for this piece, because I'm about to cut this off. Anyway, I'm using this in order to hold this piece on the lathe and be able to get it centered. And then I'm going to make a very clean cut right there so that I preserve this inner diameter for the other little blue angled fitting. Yep. Oh my God. So in preparation for welding, just went ahead and sandblasted this piece. And now the goal, well, I gotta get rid of that little thing. But the goal now is to cut the inside diameter of this to the outside diameter of that little lip. So, gonna take some measurements and get back to the lathe. This is like sort of an awkward shape though, so I don't think it's gonna fit on the lathe, but I guess that's a, a problem we're gonna have to run into a little bit later. So for now though, we have 0 0.553. Zero, oh my God, it's actually incredibly close. 0 0.495, all right, well, got a, little, got a little boring to do. So we have this little step bit here and that is really close, we're at 0558, which is why it's marked here. So I'm gonna go to this, maybe like a little bit above, and see if I can get this as close as possible before Danny welds it. Okay, so that is perfect. Look, there's gonna be just enough space to get a nice weld in there, although I'm not the one doing it, Danny's gonna do it. So I marked exactly where I want it in the position, and I'm just gonna leave it here on Danny's welding table. And the next time he's welding aluminum, he can uh, go ahead and weld it. And if you're interested in seeing more of Danny's welding, oh, there he is! <laughs> If you're interested in seeing more of Danny's welding videos, he actually just released a killer video all about welding automotive aluminum. Not like welding aluminum in general. You've already gotta be a good aluminum welder before you watch this video. This is specific to automotive aluminum. So if you're interested, go ahead and click this link right above here and check that out. And uh, yeah, all right, well, yeah. weld that when you get a chance and then we'll, we'll see you back again in a second. And then what I'm gonna do is put a little tack right here and then you can trough it 
Because we can mo always move it around. If you're happy with it, we'll weld it around. Perfect. Let's get to it. You see how I was telling you about it changes color? Oh yeah, it's no longer blue. Thank mm. goodness, I thought it was like. And look, now it's turning a little bit of a goldish color. Ooh, really to match, it must yeah. know. <laughs> it must know, it's going to his happy home. So I just had a little light, little tack, just enough, and yes, it's hot, just enough to, <laughs> 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 we could drop it. The sacrificial fitting is back in action. We use this a lot, right? Yep. T tip of the day, protect your fittings. And this is the one that you use on the laves for spinning stuff down. Now we're going to weld. And a lot of times the when you're welding, it'll either gonna, the arc's going to fly off and catch that high spot. I know it's pretty far off, but we don't want to take any chances. Or it'll arc across, especially if you don't have a good ground. So um, it's much easier to do this. Not only that, but check this out. Now I have a place where I can even I can even connect it with here. Done. Wow. So just <laughs> instead of trying to grab it here, like yep. I say, it's gonna find the the path of least restriction. Least restriction, right? Path least, of least resistance. Resistance, there we go. <laughs> and so it's gonna arc across. We're just protecting it. That's it. Tip of the day. Cover up your stuff. I don't want to say use protection. Okay, <laughs> done. Need out. Ooh. I like, I like to comment. Is it really that much fun? Because it makes and it really is. If it's not, then you're you're doing the wrong thing. I mean, it's work. It is work. Yeah. But it, but it's fun. It's like I'm getting paid to do what I would do anyway. Exactly. And you're not doing what what you love. Just, yeah, yeah, you're doing the wrong thing. Like, I do it all the time. Y'all make it seem like so much fun. Uh, whatever is it really? Yeah, yeah, it is. People are gonna think I have sanity issues for polishing a item that's never gonna be seen. We, we do. Yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> you are correct. And look, it actually looks like it belongs with everybody. Oh, put that right there. I actually ordered some fancy nuts for it too, which have not come in just yet. I like these, they're serrated on the back, but this is just a placeholder. I'm just gonna put on one of those for now, just a quick mock-up so you can see how it's gonna sit. So that's perfect. I'm gonna get another fitting too, and this is gonna point right here to where the oil cooler lines are gonna go at that heck yes and if you look in the background you might be able to see what video is coming up next in the future but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video so sorry it was a short one this week but i'm headed to all girls garage so i don't have my normal weekend and evening editing time this week so just wanted to give you a little follow-up on what's going on but if you're bored and you're just like oh, i'm so bummed that this video is not really long enough um <laughs> what do we have going on? We've got some stuff going on in the background. Yes. So if you've been seeing Danny like wandering out of the background of this video and wondering what the heck he's been up to, uh, what are you doing over here, Danny? We're port matching, and it's a, it's a video on port matching and how important port matching is. Ooh. So yes. And that, <gasps> this is like coming full circle, because that's something I've done quite a bit on uh, on my Supra. So yes. <gasps> so just just a, a simple video, and, and lately my simple videos have um, really been really important, or not important. Beep. But everybody likes it. So. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, hey, sometimes the simple stuff is the best stuff. And it looks like you've been playing with cats too. Yes. Someone might have taught me how to polish. We've been today. playing with the same cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
this is the apple. <laughs>